The U.S. Geological Survey says increased seismic activity beneath the Loihi Seamount last weekend is likely due to magma movement. But they say that it's not likely to lead to an eruption yet. Now, if you're not familiar with the Loihi Seamount, it's just south of the Big Island where this cluster of quakes is occurring. And it recently changed its name to Kama Eua Kanaloa Volcano. And Kama Eua Kanaloa Volcano may seem unfamiliar, perhaps because the name was recently updated. In fact, July of 2021, the Loihi Seamount was renamed Kama Eua Kanaloa by the Hawaii Board of Geographic Names. Just for the rest of this podcast, though, we'll be referring it to it as the Loihi Seamount. Now, the USGS Hawaiian Volcanic Observatory first detected the earthquake swarm beneath Kama Euha Kanaloa or Loihi, a seamount south of Hawaii Island, about 2 a.m. on uh, last Saturday. And HVO said it detected seismic tremor marked by pulses of seismic energy about every 15 to 20 seconds. Uh, a lot of these are micro tremors, so they're not going to be visible on almost any seismometers that you can access in the public. Now, the quakes occurred about 27 miles southeast of Nalehu at a depth of 1 to 10 miles below the sea level. And the seismic activity is likely the result of magma movement beneath Loe Seamount. And currently, the seamount shows no signs of leading up to an eruption because... Uh, the seismic swarm stopped, and there have been other seismic swarms in the past. So according to HVO scientist in charge Ken Hahn in a statement, if the swarm intensifies or changes significantly, HVO will issue an additional notice. Of course, because that means that there may be an imminent eruption. But he continued, because of the great depth of the volcano within the ocean and the style of Hawaii eruptions, an eruption at Loihi would pose no threat to the big island of Hawaii, neither Mauna Loa nor Kilauea volcanoes are showing any change in activity associated with the Lohi'i earthquake swarm. So there have been no damage to buildings or infrastructure. There's no shaking felt as well on the big island at all. And intermittent earthquake activity has been recorded in this vicinity of Lohi'i since as early as 1952, according to HVO. And from July to August of 1996, there were more than 4,000 earthquakes with nearly 300 events larger than magnitude 3.0 and 95 events in the 4 to 4.9 range. So we're nowhere near approaching that. Uh, more recently, a swarm of 100 earthquakes occurred on May 11th in 2020 with 18 events in the 3 to 3.9 ma uh, magnitude range. And a mild earthquake also occurred in June of 2021, but n did not appear to impact nearby volcanoes. Now, since there are no working monitoring instruments on Loihi Seamount or the newly named Kama Euha Kanaloa volcano, whose peak is about 3,280 feet below sea level, so it's very hard to get to, all real-time information is now coming from land-based seismometers on Hawaii Islands, but that may change in the future. Now, here is the location of the Hawaii Islands from east to west, and you can see Loihi is this subsurface peninsula and newly named volcano way offshore, 3,000 feet below the surface. Now, the new name Kama Euha Kanaloa volcano is very hard to pronounce, but all the links will be below so you don't have to pronounce it. Now, here's the eruptive history. Confirmed VEI-0 back in 1996 with that earthquake swarm, the one we talked about with over 4,000 quakes, 300 events larger than 3 magnitude and 95 to 4 to 4, 9. So we'd be looking for a swarm of that size to have some kind of eruption beneath the surface. But again, it wouldn't be dangerous to anyone. It would simply be the formation of the next island in the chains. I'm going to leave you two links to the general background geology and plate tectonics of Hawaii to get you up to speed if that's something that interests you. And Kauai, Oahu, Maui, and Hawaii respectively are each younger and younger. The Big Island is the youngest, and Loihi will soon be the newest island in the chain. As the plate moves over the hot spot, the islands form a string, in fact, an arc, and they've actually shifted in positions potentially due to pole movements, but that's a whole other podcast. Now, here's the most recent paper to bring you up to speed, the Emperor Seamount Chain and Hawaii Ridge Ancient Age, or 4,350 years old, 
And this is talking about that C-mount system and might be an interesting read. So Hawaii plate tectonics, the Loihi C-mount you can see here pictured underneath the water will be the next island to raise up in the Hawaii chain. So pretty fantastic. There's Pele, goddess of fire, as portrayed in a mural at the Jaeger Museum. And because the Hawaiian Islands are only there because of volcanic activity. So they must worship the volcano. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hope you got something out of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And if you live on the low EEC mount, be safe. We love you.